So, Neon Jungle. Hi, guys. Lovely to meet you. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. First of all, you all look absolutely incredible. Thank you. Honestly. Thank you. So do you. So do you. All <laughs> your pictures, you always look so fashionable. How do you do it every single day looking so hot? <laughs> You're lying to me. <laughs> <laughs> Your new single, I absolutely love it. I was doing a workout last night and I put it on YouTube and I was like, oh, oh yeah. I just want to grind, I don't want to get down and dirty. It's such an amazing tune. You must be so proud of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. we do love it. When you first listened back to it, what was your initial reaction? Do you know what, even as a demo when we first heard it, do you know what, we was in the studio recording a different song that's going to be on the album at the time and we were just speaking to the producers, we was like, oh yeah, because we really enjoy working with them. We was like, what else have you got? And they showed us like the beat and like the idea and we was like, yeah, <laughs> like, we need this song. Itch, ni, san, kaisu. I listened to it and I was like, oh yeah, I love it. And then it just got really grimy and I was like, oh, the bass. And then I started rapping and I was like, I love these girls. Yeah. <laughs> now, why would you say, you know, what makes you different to like the Saturdays that all makes, obviously there's other girl bands out there, but what makes you guys unique? Like, we don't do like the generic, like the Outfits, dance routines, yeah. Yeah. matching mm -hmm. outfits. Yeah. Etc. Et if we did, I think our manager would be like, get back into John. Do you know what? Like, we, 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 we would be like, that. Hard. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we once turned up in the same colour and we were like, no, nah, we've got to sort this out. We tried to make a stance once. I pulled a strop, I had a panic attack, I ran out of the room, I was outside. Like, these three were trying <laughs> oh, to comfort me and I was yeah, like, couldn't <laughs> breathe. I was like, it's okay, sure. Dancing is just not for me. Yeah, I can't even remember the Macarena. I'm. I'm <laughs> oh, I can't remember, <laughs> I can't can remember still after like 24 <laughs> years. Now, I've got to ask about the name Neon Jungle. I think it's found. Fantastic name. Where did it come from? <laughs> this lovely lady here. No, here. it came from. It came from. Oh, it came after a very long time. Mm. Um, but eventually, it came from um, one of the songs um, on our album. The song that we was recording before we before, um, before we recorded Braveheart. Actually, Welcome to the Jungle. Let's make this about us. Like, welcome to us. Like, jungle. Like, like, what can we put in front of it? Like. Neon, yeah, <laughs> neon jungle, <laughs> sort of thing, and then everyone was like, it was like the first name that we had all thought, like yes, 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 and it was like, God for that, because it <laughs> took so long. To yeah. clarify, you didn't meet in a jungle, there was no jungle no, involved. No, it's <laughs> totally <laughs> random. Unfortunately too. not. Now you guys are like, you got on great, but what is it like? being as a group together i mean <laughs> you must annoy each other i mean like me and my best friends we annoy each other but what's it like you didn't know each other beforehand or have you just gelled really well instantly from the first time like we we even went out like our first meal we were already like, pouring our hearts the good out yeah. like or skipped to the good <laughs> bit for real so are you a virgin yeah like, <laughs> like, <laughs> so like, <laughs> so like, <laughs> yeah like definitely it was, so true, <laughs> it was literally like that <laughs> And obviously the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, huge. First oh, UK yeah. act ever picked to perform on such an amazing show. Wow. Tell me a bit more about that. that Incredible. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> that <laughs> hasn't even sunk in yet. That's something that I think we're all gonna tell our kids. What you've done if they don't, girls, you can perform, but you have to do it in your underwear. Would you be like, yeah. okay, come <laughs> on. Cool. 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 Yeah, can, I, can I have the six million dollar one, please? <laughs> and do you get to meet Taylor Swift? Was it Taylor Swift? Oh, oh, yeah, okay, tell me about that. She kind of like knocked on our dress room door and was like, Hi, I'm Taylor. Like we didn't know who she was. Yeah, like, and then yeah. she was like, we we're like having like little bits of jokes. And then like every time she'd walk past, she'd be like, oh, did it look okay? Oh, you guys are awesome. And like uh -huh. she gave us a goodie bag afterwards. We met her mum. Give like, you a goodie bag? Yeah, yeah and it had a blanket. Taylor Swift's rugs. Distributed them. Hi. <laughs> we literally went back to the airport with like all our Taylor Swift rugs wrapped around us. We were repping it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so she gave you just merchandise of her. Yeah. 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 Well, there you <laughs> Only Taylor Swift could do that. So was that just incredible meeting her? I can imagine. No, it was. Yeah, she was. Fallout Boy as well. Yeah. And I was. I went through that. I don't know if it's appropriate to say the emo stage. I went through that. I wore an yeah. emo hoodie. Like, I uh, so had fun. like the big like you know like eyeliner. The the back combs like black hair with like clips here yeah. that made no sense. They weren't even like, <laughs> like doing anything. And like I had um, a Fallout Boy post on my wall that I'd like you know like sing to and that uh, you know like. You know, just talk to you, like. <laughs> no, I, I, mean, I walked no, in there, sorry, and my tour manager, our tour manager, was like, "Yeah, just don't mention that." So I was like, I went in there. <laughs> oh yeah, my tour manager told me not to mention it, but I had posters of you when I was younger, and I used to always like <laughs> talk to it. And like Pete went, just like, "That's so cool." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. So that was, that, that was a highlight for you then. Oh, yeah, 100%. Now, collaborations. I've heard you want to work with Pharrell. Is that 
what yeah. I mentioned yeah. away with. Dream collaborations. Yeah. Obviously in one direction, but that's very predictable for me to say something odd. I, I think in one direction switch collaboration would be great. How good would that be? I think you'll be really you just so exciting. Yeah, she has a direction until the end. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So that would be a dream for you then? Yeah. I can I imagine that bit pop in your face. Oh my, I, don't, I couldn't perform. No, honestly, like, I think we need, to, like, <laughs> we need to take a five minute break. I'm actually getting really You'd excited. You'd be starstruck. <laughs> oh. All directions are hard. Like before Neon Jungle, I met them. I waited out from three o'clock in the morning to three o'clock the next day. Yeah, they're fans. They're uh, they're committed. They're fans. So that was me. Oh, so yeah. that was you. What is? Up. Yeah, it's still me. <laughs> What's the dream celeb boyfriend at the moment? You know, you're at you're at, you're at a cool celeb party. All the stars are there. If you could pick one to be a future husband. I've got two. You've got two. Niall Horan or Harry Styles. So Niall or Harry, or mm. both of them together, that'd be brilliant. <laughs> now, obviously, you girls, like I said, talking about the fame thing. The paps are going to be out, going to be paps left, right, and centre, falling out of nightclubs. Hopefully, not falling out. You know. <laughs> Stepping is that out. Some, stepping out very glamorously? Yeah. If one of you had to be Pat's falling out of a nightclub and maybe you're under over your head, which one would it which one would it be? There's oh, always goodness. one in the girl band who gets a bit drunk and falls out of a cab. Probably me or if me and Jess went out together, it'd be both of us. You'd have lately. Um, so. I'm a light. If it's always got heels on, she doesn't even need to be drunk. Yeah, falling out. <laughs> <laughs> the ankles are going. But you know what? When I'm like drunk, my, I can walk like I'm well I think Be I am, but you know, you get that like <laughs> Yeah, then you, think, then you watch a video it? back and it's like... Mm. No, yeah, it probably will be me. We're not taking our shoes off, we're going to brave it. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely will be me. <laughs> I'm going to do this. It's hard, yeah. like, especially when you're getting out of the house. Because you're always going to be there like... Don't get your shoes off. They go everywhere, those pubs. Yeah. I must wait, you know, always wear underwear. That's my one. Yeah. Advice. I was looking at a girl's face though. Which one of you is eating baby food? Me. What is this about? Okay, do you know what? <laughs> Let me just put it out there. No, I, mean, I, I just cases. eat really weird stuff occasionally. Like, I just have this thing, it's called picker, where you eat, it's a desire to eat non food items or strange food items. And I just I don't think, think baby food's strange. I quite get that. No, no, no. Not just baby food, but like in general, like the whole like eyes, the biscuits. like, mm. like mm. the crayons, mm. raw cabbage and stuff like that. Crayons? Yeah, like when I was younger, I used to eat crayons and oh like, like try eat pencils and stuff. <laughs> And finally, girls, we're going to play a little little game called Snob Marry Avoid, but with boy bands. Oh, no, you can't do this to me. The first one. The Bundy Boys. It's a festival. Get you first. Who would you snog? Who would you marry? And who would you avoid? Okay, I'd start. Oh, okay, do you know what? I'd avoid. Oh, no, please don't. With you. Oh, my gosh. I know, and I'm like, partly over. Really Let's pretend they're all single. Let's pretend. Just so, pretend. So, marry Zane, snog Harry, and avoid poor little Niall. I would marry Liam. He's so good looking. Uh, avoid Louis. What? Marry Harry? Rhymes. Yeah. You know, they know that they I can't marry you. Guys, Harry ain't gonna be happy with you. Yeah, I'm sorry, babe. Yeah, sorry, You're done good. You, can't, get it. you, you can't, can't, get it. can't marry all of them, that's the no, first okay. rule. I'm gonna avoid Zane because he's engaged. Yeah. I'm gonna marry now because he seems a bit more marriage material and have a snog with Harry. <clears throat> and because other two are in relationships anyway, so it's not like I'm avoiding them, it's just like they're off limits anyway. You can just. Yeah, there's not another option, but they can they can just hang out with you when you're married. Yolo. Well. <laughs> Doing it like it's actually realistic that we're going to marry. This is so going to happen. This is, this, is, this is official. Well, I'm going to avoid now because I'm going to be his future wife's maid of honour. That's true. Um, I'm going to snog Harry. Why not? We can talk about it after and say how it went. Harry's one lucky boy. What's the other one? Marry. Marry. Zane. Zane. <laughs> oh, there's <laughs> one more. Finally, take that boy. Oh! I have to avoid Robbie Williams. What? I'm going to hurt my dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. My stepdad. Again, I, I get mixed well. up between Howard and Orange. Um, Jason Orange. Orange. Huh? <laughs> so that's why I put them in pencil as well. Okay. Okay, so what's your choice? I'd marry Gaza. Would everyone marry Gary and snog Robbie? No, I wouldn't. No, I'm avoiding Robbie. I'd avoid Gary. I'd avoid all of them. Which avoid one's Mark? Them, the one yeah. on the left? Because uh, they're all yeah. old enough to be my dad. That's true. I forget you guys. That Do you know what? They're better. Like. <laughs> I'd probably put one on hold for my mum. That makes me feel old. I remember when I looked at things. <laughs> oh. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Thank and you. this thing thank was you. amazing. It's our jungle. Thank you. 19th. Yeah. So, yeah. Follow us on Twitter at Neon Jungle Music, um, on Facebook and Instagram. Also, our individuals on there at Neon Jess, Asami, Shireen, and Amira. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> Sun.